Our planet is constantly changing. Right now, some areas experience more flooding than others. But what if I told you that in your lifetime, some places you know and love will be underwater? This is a scary thing to face up to, but it's reality. Maybe even the place you or loved ones live will be underwater soon. Global temperatures and sea levels are rising, and already low-lying coastal cities are experiencing massive floods. Some areas have come up with creative ways to stop the rising tides, but eventually all of that excessive water will create a change in pressure and volume. So here are some lands that will flood in your lifetime. Florida Many Americans and international people love to visit Florida, USA. It's a big tourist hotspot with amazing beaches, theme parks, and activities. But Florida's amazing climate and environment will actually be what destroys it in the end. No matter where you are in the state of Florida, you're never more than 60 miles away from a beach or a body of salt water. This is because the state is incredibly flat. There's very few mountains, hills, or rocky terrains. But all of this water and flat land makes it very prone to flooding. Places like Miami are the first places that would flood as they're on the coast. In this simulation from climatechange.org, we can see what Miami Beach will look like in 2050. Now, we may come up with ways to drain the water so that it's not this bad, but the city will definitely be uninhabitable pretty soon. Also, areas such as Everglades National Park in Miami will be flooded. That's because this sits at below sea level. This could also cause many animals to go extinct. This includes birds and also mammals such as the Florida panther. Florida's reptiles, like their famous alligators, may also be wiped out. Florida is also one of the most hurricane-prone areas on Earth. This could cause gigantic waves and even tsunamis, which would increase the flooding. This would be similar to what happened in 1992 with Hurricane Andrew, but on a bigger scale. This cost 65 people's lives and $27.3 billion. Environmental author Jeff Goodall also has a very scary warning about Miami. He said there's virtually no scenario under which you can imagine Miami existing at the end of the century. He called it the poster child for a major city in big trouble. Sea levels are rising all over the world, but Miami's are rising at a faster rate. This will result in flooding, contaminated drinking water, and major damage to homes, buildings, and roads. New York City The Big Apple, New York, is one of the most famous cities on Earth. But if you go up to any high building in New York and look around, you'll see a lot of water. As water levels are rising, this is not a good thing. To make matters worse, a huge amount of New York is built with concrete. Concrete, unlike soil, does not absorb water. This means any flooding in New York would spill into their sewer systems. These sewer systems were built for rain, not for massive floods. This means soon, New York may have sewage floating around it all the time. There is a 68% chance that a flood of six feet or more will occur before 2050. This is according to recent meteorological studies. Soon, many famous areas like Manhattan, the Hamptons, and Montauk may be underwater. Venice Venice is famous for their canals. Tourists love to go to the picturesque city and ride around on gondolas. But sadly, this is not sustainable. Already thanks to rising sea levels, structures have had to be raised. Venice is currently sinking at a rate of 0.08 inches per year. And Italy has been building a massive flood barrier since 2003. This consists of 78 gates across its three inlets. But this barrier won't be ready until 2022. And even then, it's a temporary fix. In 2018, a series of storms hit Venice. This was the worst flooding the city had seen in a decade. And it's said that by 2100, Venice will be totally submerged. Indonesia Indonesia is a very extreme place to live in terms of its environment. It's surrounded by water. It also faces large storms and typhoons. And on the islands, there are lots of volcanoes too. But something very scary is occurring in Indonesia's capital city. Its capital, Jakarta, is sinking at a rate of 6.7 inches per year. This is because of excessive groundwater pumping. This creates a change in pressure and volume. 
and this causes the land to sink. It's believed that by 2050, much of the city will be underwater. Jakarta is actually the fastest sinking city in the world. Seeing as its population is more than 10 million people, this is not good. Also, 98% of Jakarta is covered in concrete. Much like in New York City, this means water is not absorbed. Texas as the saying goes, everything is bigger in Texas. But that also counts for bad things like flooding. Houston, Texas will soon become the third most populated city in the USA. This is with a population of nearly 2.5 million people. The city is on the Gulf of Mexico, and every year a massive amount of groundwater is extracted. This is for its population to drink. Also, Houston's oil and gas industry is sinking the city. This is because of all of the mining that takes place under the city. Some parts of Houston are sinking at a rate of two inches per year. And Houston is also vulnerable to hurricanes as well. Thailand. Bangkok, Thailand is sinking at a rate of more than one centimeter per year, and it could be below sea level by 2030. Recently, the city had to build an 11 acre park which can hold more than 1 million gallons of rainwater, but the city is still vulnerable to flooding. Egypt. The Library of Alexandria is not the only thing that's been destroyed. Alexandria's beaches in Egypt are also disappearing at an alarming rate. The Mediterranean Sea could raise by as much as two feet by 2100. Netherlands. Rotterdam in the Netherlands is at risk of rising sea levels. 90% of the city is below sea level, and as ocean levels rise, the risk of flooding increases. Bangladesh. By 2050, oceans could flood 17% of Bangladesh's land. This would have a terrible impact and displace about 18 million people. Nigeria Lagos in Nigeria is a popular tourist hotspot, but its low coastline continues to erode year after year. And this would put Lagos, which is Africa's largest city, in danger of flooding. A 2012 study said that the sea level rising three feet would have catastrophic effects for Lagos. But by the end of the century, sea levels are expected to rise by six feet, double that. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Are you concerned about major cities flooding in the near future, or do you think we'll find a solution? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.